Hello everyone! This is our daily video for today. We are going to be talking about Mayan art and architecture. Um, so without further ado, I hope you're doing fantastic. Um, keep up the good work. You guys have uh, started off strong with the fourth marking period. Um, and let's get it going. All right, give me one second while I share my screen. We are talking Mayan art and architecture today. And here we go. Wait for this to load and we'll take care of it. All right, Mayan art and architecture. So as far as uh, architecture is concerned, the Mayans are probably most known for their pyramids. They actually had two different types, both very similar, but they served completely different functions. Um, they had the typical pyramid shape that we've seen in the past with the Egyptians. Uh, the steps that we've seen, very, very similar to those in Egypt. Uh, but it's very interesting because the two are on completely different sides of the world. So the fact that they both had these big figures in these big shapes is quite interesting as far as, um, you know, how did both uh, civilizations know to do this? Um, it's a little bit of a mystery. All right, so let's talk about those two types. Uh, the first was meant to be used. It was a functional, practical use. Uh, the Mayans were using it for what they needed to. Um, it was meant to be used and meant to be climbed on. Priests would oftentimes make sacrifices to the gods on these uh, ones that we're talking about right now, the ones that are being practically used. And a lot of the things that they did on there were for religious ceremonies. Um, and we talked about the priests yesterday a little bit and what their jobs were. So when it came to actually these religious ceremonies, the priests, um, you know, they would go on these pyramids and they would perform these sacrifices um the second one is more of a spiritual use so it was more for show so the second was more for show a sacred pyramid really humans were not meant to climb on them um or to touch them at all uh, these pyramids were built as like a shrine to the gods i have two pictures up here for you the one on the left um that one as you can see there's like a, a little building on top that one was meant for the priest to go up and actually do sacrifices and do religious ceremonies the one on the right is a little bit more steep that's kind of how you can tell uh the difference uh between which ones were used for what reason all right all right let's talk about art so the Mayan civilization existed for over 1,500 years. During this time, the Mayans created many works of art. Uh, the art of the Maya was heavily influenced by their religion, as well as the kings of the civilization. All right. So like many of the other civilizations that we've talked about, sculptures played a big part. All right. So the Mayan, uh, the, perhaps their most famous uh, works of art were these sculptures and they were made completely out of stone. Um, the name of these were actually called Stellas. So um, they're one of the more popular types. They were super, super tall and they were carved pieces of stone that would depict Kings. And the reason that they were stone was because they would last a long time and the King could, you know, live on forever in these, uh, in these dwellings. Um, some of these uh, stellas were very large. The largest Maya stella, Mayan stella uh, ever discovered uh, was weighed in at 65 tons and was about 34 feet tall. It would be like stacking three basketball hoops on top of each other. So if you can imagine that, it's pretty tall. All right, carvings. The Maya also created detailed carvings in other materials such as wood and jade 
Jade is a type of metal. Um, although only a few wood carvings have survived, archaeologists believe that the wood carvings were probably the most popular piece of art for the Mayans. All right, let's talk about the paintings. All right, paintings. So the Mayan uh, civilization, they painted murals on walls of their buildings, including their houses, temples, and public buildings. The subjects of the murals actually varied from scenes of daily life, mythology, battles, religious ceremonies. These paintings haven't really survived due to the weather in Central America and the amount of time that has passed since. As you guys know, Central America is right around the equator. And it's, um, it's very hot down there and humid, so a lot of these paintings definitely did not survive. All right, next we are talking about ceramics. So much like uh, many civilizations, um, the Mayans made pottery as a way to store food items, other items. They also needed pottery to hold water uh, and also for cooking. All right, so ceramics were very important to the Mayans. Uh, as it is in many cultures. The Maya created their pottery. They decorated their pottery with elaborate designs and scenes. Um, it's a good thing they did decorate these because archaeologists learned a lot from studying the scenes depicted on the artifacts. Um, they got a lot of information, like what we're going to talk about next. All right. Weaving and feathering... You know, because cloth and feathers are so fragile, um, none of the materials from the Mayan age survived over time. So how do we know that they use feathers? Well, the ceramics we just talked about. Uh, those ceramic pieces uh, gave us a glimpse of what it was like back then. Um, we talked about yesterday how the nobles um, had these well-respected positions and money. Uh, well, craftsmen for the nobles would actually make these like elaborate outfits to show off. Um, they had headdresses with feathers and really elaborate costumes, um, super colorful. Um, and this was pretty much done by the um, like all the nobles. They all had these these like costumes and that kind of thing. Okay, so as far as like our information is. You know, for today, um, that's it. What I have for you is your assignment. Um, let me just get off of here so you can see me. Well, hello again. All right, so your assignment for today is this. Um, I've attached an interactive website to a Google Doc. Um, I'll also put it in the assignment so you guys can get to it. Um, you are going to... Take a look at it. It's an interactive website that goes through some Mayan art. And what I would like for you to do in that attached Google Doc is give me three facts that you find interesting about Mayan art. Um, you guys keep up the good work. You're doing a fantastic job. If you didn't finish anything from earlier this week and you want to get that done, um, you have the opportunity to do that as well. Uh, remember, you guys can hand in things um, if you didn't get to it. And I'll, I'll grade it and we'll be good to go. Uh, with that being said, that's all I got for you right now. Uh, remember, if you need anything from me, email me. Um, I check that throughout the whole day. And I will be available uh, directly through Google Classroom and Google Hangout during our block. Um, so a lot of you are taking advantage of that, which is good. Come in, you know, say hello, and, and I'll answer any questions you have. Uh, and that's that. So. Have a great day. Take care. Um, have a good one.